All right, I know you guys have been begging for a seafood boil. It's finally here. I think I'm ready. The food is looking so good. It's waiting for me. Let's do this. First, I'll have a sip of my Corona here. I have a lime wedge in there and I've salted the top. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, it's so icy cold. Oh, first I want to squeeze some lime and lemon juice on top of this. All right, and I'll put some in here as well. So this is some of that butter, Cajun, lemon pepper sauce that they have going on at this restaurant that I picked it up at. I did not make the seafood boil. I did purchase all this. Let's see if this sauce is still warm. It is still warm. Okay, let's get started. Let's see here. So I've got a bunch of types of different types of seafood. So this is some mussels. So dip in that sauce. Let's do it. Mmm. That was really good. So good. Sounds good. Bomb ass shrimp here. Mmm. Crawfish. We have clams too. Mm. Oh, big potato. This is going to be messy. Little tiny piece of meat, but to me it's worth it. Mmm, these clams are good. Some corn.
Mm. Mmm, I love the corn. It's so sweet. It's perfect. Ah, my buttery mouth. Hmm. There's so much garlic in this sauce, I love it. You guys remember, I always have a rule for seafood. I don't talk <clears throat> because I like to focus on what I'm doing. Ooh. Hmm. Muscles are so good. Beautiful shrimp. I also have king crab legs in here. They were cut up. About eat those in a second. Oh, I forgot there are sausages in here too. Hmm. Let's do I mean I guess for thumbnail reasons I'm not very happy that they cut up this king crab leg up. That's okay. 
Maybe it's easier to eat that way. <clears throat> so good. Spicy. So the reason why it's been so long since I've done a seafood boil is because I'm just, you know, you, you have to realize that seafood right now for mukbangs, it's a bit saturated, right? There's a seafood boil mukbang every minute, every hour. And that seems to be the only thing being released these days. So I'm thinking, what's, what's the point of having another one? Do you know what I mean? Because even for me, I don't really even care to watch seafood boils that much. I mean, I don't think it's my favorite type of mukbang. But I mean, I do understand why it's very popular. Sorry if my face is full of seafood boil juice. Ooh, it's a big potato. Really big one. Mmm. Like I only want to eat seafood boils on my mukbangs if I'm actually craving it. Like I don't want to just eat it because I know that it's going to get me views or I know that <clears throat> that's going to attract attention and all that good stuff. Let's see here.
Let's open this guy up. Nice. I'm quiet, huh? I told you. I wasn't joking. Listen, it's not like I don't like, I mean, coming back to what we what was saying earlier, it's not that I don't care about having views and, you know, wanting some sort of attraction to my channel. It's not to say that. Of course I do. Every, every creator does. But even though I know that eating seafood would attract people, I don't really feel like doing that because I just don't want to eat seafood all the time. And that's okay. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess creators in general are really, at least maybe from mukbangers, are really concerned about the amount of views they get and the amount of followers they get, et cetera, et cetera. And I know that almost haunts them, you know? Like they're always thinking about what they could do next to, to really gain all the subscribers in the world. Or they get jaded by those that, you know, maybe started later than they did and for some reason has X amount more subscribers than they do. And they get a little jealous and they feel a little uh, upset about it. And that's, uh, I understand that. I understand that type of emotion and feelings towards that. Um, but I mean, I, I don't know. I just think, <laughs> eating seafood boils all the time isn't the answer to that.
I just, I feel like I'm gonna eat what I want, right? And then if you wanna stick around and watch that stuff, that's cool. Mm-hmm. If you're ever like, if you're an aspiring content creator for YouTube, don't be so overly concerned about views and all that um, and the amount of subscribers you have. I mean, it's great and all to achieve all of that, of course, and you know, it's gonna make you feel good about yourself, but don't be stuck on that. Don't make that the, the end goal, you know, like, because listen, it's not gonna, you can have hundreds to 200,000 subscribers, but you can get very little views. You know, it's just, I guess it's the luck of the draw really with videos. I don't know, you release them, sometimes it, it's a hit and sometimes it's not, but you have to be okay with that. Like you have to make peace with that in a way to be able to chug along with videos, right? Because, a lot of times YouTubers get discouraged when they don't see 
you know, like they've worked so hard and people aren't viewing their videos, which is very, I can totally understand that. But at the same time, you know, don't let that get to you. Don't let that stop you from continuing to shoot videos because listen, just the people kind of get over you sometimes and you just have to deal with that and know that, that that's a real thing. It's not always going to be perfect and then not every video is going to be a hit, you know? So keep chugging along. Do it and then keep chugging along. Don't, don't be discouraged. A lot of people are. Um, and for me, you know, like I used to get discouraged uh, a lot, like when I first started shooting videos. Now it's just like, whatever. I do it whenever I want to. It's on my own terms. I could be shooting videos left and right, releasing two or three a week, but I choose not to. And that could possibly help me grow, but it's just not something I want to do. And I'm not that concerned about that type of growth. I just want to deliver some great videos for the people that already do love me, you know, and that um, do want to stick around. So this is really for them, you know, because at the end of the day, I still have my life outside of this. You know, I still have a job, you know, I'm still doing my thing. So this is not, this doesn't make me, this is just a great hobby that I have. So do it, but don't feel like you have to be freaking popular, you know? And a lot of times the videos that you don't work that hard on are the ones that are the most popular or it's just funny the way YouTube works and what people really want to see. You'd be surprised. And for those that do, you know, do have channels and are kind of, you know, feeling like you're struggling, you're not getting views, don't worry about it because just keep doing what you're doing. And if it stays low, then whatever. You do realize that you're satisfying a very large group of people, be it 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. Think about it, if you had 3,000 people freaking outside your house right now or inside your house, you'd be overwhelmed. That's a lot of people. So whenever I see my videos and the views that they're getting, I feel very fortunate and I don't look at it any other way. I go, well, that's a huge stadium. It's like several stadiums worth of people. That's insane and I should be thankful for that and I am. I guess the whole point of this in me saying this is don't be too overly concerned, you know. I'm not concerned because if I was concerned, I'd be shooting out seafood boils left and right because I know that's what people want to see. But I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like doing that. Because I still have to do what I want to do. Really, at the end of the day, guys, it's about me and what I want. I love you, but I love me too. All right, I'm gonna stop here because I'm saving that for my lover. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to have enjoyed this seafood boil for you. I don't know, I feel like I went on a little bit of a rant. I'm in a good mood, I'm not in a bad mood. It might seem that way, but I'm really focused on the seafood. I have to get the job done. That's the whole point. Anyway, let me chug this really quick before I let you go. Mm. So good. I guess this answers your, answers your question. I do share my food. It's not all for me. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you soon. Next time we'll have a little bit more of a chat. This one was more hyper-focused on the good, good food that I had in front of me. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.